Cancer, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 21st to the 27th of June 2021. No particular subject, uh, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Cancerian, so do check out your replacement, your moon, rising, Venus, any stellium you have in your chart. Um, once again, thank you for the continued support, the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, the kind donations, it all is very, very much appreciated. And um, the description box uh, has all the information you need, details of private reads, links to Patreon for full access to all extendeds, individual access through Vimeo, and uh, Instagram links to see photos of the spread. Cancer. This week brings us into your birthday season, so happy birthday for Cancers this week. Um, I hope it's a nice time for you. Let's see, three more. What's going on? Ooh, the King of Swords. I kind of see this as your higher self. I mean, it could be dealing with somebody professional here, doctor. Um, psychiatrist, solicitors, but I'm kind of seeing that as your higher self. He's looking in the past and I kind of feel like in the past you may have been very judgmental on you. I don't I don't think you were judgmental on others. I think you were judgmental on yourself. So I kind of feel like the sword needs to be gentle with the butterfly now. The butterfly has gone through its transformation. It's been painful in the cocoon. Um, and it's painful breaking free. Don't let your past affect your future. You know, we all make mistakes. Don't be harsh on yourself. I almost feel like it's just a, there's a very judgmental aspect here. But it's judgmental on your own, your own judgments. On your own decisions where you've gone wrong. Just take them as learning curves and move on. But I kind of feel like you're doing that. You're becoming more gentle to yourself. Um, yeah, it's kind of like re-establishing your self-worth, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past, immediate future. Beautiful. We have the Seven of Discs, the Knight of Cups, the Emperor, and the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Nine of Discs, the Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. It's definitely celebrations. Could be financial gain coming soon. Kind of like your hard work is paying off. Be careful how many people run to you when you start doing well. You know. So I'm taking the Emperor here, and it could be the Divine Masculine aspect. But I kind of feel like it's the Divine Masculine within yourself. So, you know, don't get caught up in genders. This is stepping into the Divine Masculine role, which is all about, you know, self-sufficiency. Taking, you know, taking your autonomy. Um, really kind of um, setting your foundations, building your stability and I kind of feel like people are noticing that and you're getting all these knights running in you know can I borrow this, can you lend me that, do you mind it's, it's that type of thing I'm getting here somebody seeing that you're um, you're standing on your own two feet and wanting to take advantage of that so just be careful there Could be family members. We've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Two of Cups after that. Death and the Chariot. Yeah, it's like the old you. You know, they're still trying to get you back to your old you. The old you's gone. You know, you're gentle with yourself now. You know, perhaps in the past you used to fight your self worth and give in to people, not anymore. So we've got the King of Swords. What we're aware of is temperance. You battled your demons. Now. You've tempered it. You've 
brought balance, you brought abstinence, you know, you've really worked hard on yourself. What you're aware and what you're not aware of is the two of wands. There's a need for a journey now. I almost feel like you've started that journey. And there could be a situation here where somebody is trying to pull you back. Because why I say that is the recent past is the full. You've started that journey. There you there you are with your uh, It's gone. I actually wrote it down the other day. I sent it in a text. Nope, gone. I don't know what it's called. But the fool has set off. So you've set off, but now you're at a point. You're at a point, but something in your past, I kind of feel like this ace of wands. Could be some sort of, um, could be a person, could be some sort of passionate connection. Um, it's kind of got you stuck. Where you don't know which direction to go now. I would say keep going, you know, if they want to come with you they will, they'll raise vibrations and match you, if not they'll fall by the wayside. The immediate future we have duality, and this is why I say you've you've, you've stepped into that, um, the devil aspect, for me the, de the duality is the devil is devil and temperance, you know, you've, you've, you've done the devil, you're stepping into temperance, uh, and there could be somebody from your past that's going to tempt you into maybe and stepping into the devil again um, but it's all about moderation it's all about balance you know I'm not saying you know to be a wonderful person you cannot have vices which is, is ludicrous you know if you want a glass of red wine with your meal you have a glass of red wine with your meal you know it's, it's, it's moderation in life but the outcome is queen of discs this is I almost feel like you're just taking care of you but I almost feel like this is some sort of abundance coming in. We'll see what's clarifying. It's like, yeah, it's like this seven of pentacles, this hard work that's going to be paying off. And then we get to that nine of pentacles after all these, um, um, you know, knights coming in trying to uh, get your attention. Bottom of the deck, six of pentacles. I think there's money coming in, Cancer, where you're going to be in a position of, of, of a little bit more comfort. So I like it. With it being birthday um, season, it could be, you know, a gift from family, friends, however, however it is. Could be something like that. But I kind of feel like it's... Um, it's to do with your hard work, I think. You know, your kind deeds have not gone unnoticed. Even if it's something like looking after Lady Gaia, Mother Earth, I always see in Queen of Pentacles. You know, not walking past litter. You know, yes, it's somebody else that's dropped it, but you know, do your bit, pick it up, put it in the bin. It's kind of just being recognised for what you're doing. Um, for the environment, for the, for you, you know, you, you heal yourself, you heal others around you. You, you, know, you raise the vibration, the vibration of Earth, ready for new Earth. Okay, three more. Judgment, the Magician, the Eight of Wands, Page of Wands and the Sun. Beautiful energies. This is awakenings, manifestations, things coming in quickly, positive news, happiness. Okay. So. 
you're coming into complete balance. I really like this. Others don't like it. You know. Others don't like it. So we've got the King of Swords is with the Three of Pentacles. So this could be, like I say, uh, something to do with somebody professional. Could be, um, you know, discussions about um, collaborations of some kind. Um, but I almost feel like as well you just, it's learning from your higher self. You know, like I said, your, your higher self with the King of Swords here. You know, somebody's on the perch here looking down. And I'm kind of getting the two people here is masculine and feminine energies within you. You're going through major changes. And I like it. Pardon the uh, uh, thin floor, thin floorboards. Can't speak. Um, so you, you, you're going through some changes. You may be getting some harsh words from some of these people around you. I don't know, I'm almost getting like a little bit of um, maybe jealousy or something. If you're in if you're in any sort of conflict, um, what we're aware of is temperance with the five of swords. There's a peaceful resolution somewhere. You know, so if you are in any sort of conflict, I kind of feel like this is possible negotiations, um, which can you know, make an, an easy, um, sorry, itching my mat today. Negotiations that can be cut, sort of settled easily. What you're not aware of is the two of wands with the nine of cups. Keep going, you know, you've, you, you, the fool's journey, you need to keep going. Don't stop for anybody else. Keep searching for that wish fulfillment because it is coming. Abundance is coming. In the recent past, we have the Fool with the Death card. So you've gone through your massive transformations. You know, you've literally started your journey again. You know, where we fail, we get back up. So this has happened for you, I kind of feel. The immediate future, we have duality with Empress. So there's that duality in regards to Divine Masculine and Feminine. This is you at the moment stepping into your, mas uh, your masculine power setting your foundations um, getting things in place doing everything that you need to do to bring yourself into balance and that's what's coming you're bringing yourself into balance you've got the duality you've got the emperor and the empress the out potential outcome is the queen of discs with the seven of cups this is having lots of options letting abundance come to you but also I'm kind of getting your dreams need to need a practical plan um, so make sure to ground yourself and this is also in regards to maybe I'm almost getting like you need a totem for some of you you could be astral traveling you know in the mind in the dream space traveling through the through the realms um, I want you to get some sort of totem to keep you grounded, some sort of crystal, amethyst. Take amethyst to bed, or meditate with amethyst. Something to keep you grounded, something to anchor you, anchor you, that's the word I'm looking for. Something to keep you anchored. Um, back to reality, I've probably lost a lot of people there, but uh, it's just something, some message, so I need to say it. Um, incidentally, something is really standing out for me. Um, and I've never seen this before. I'm looking at Temperance and Empress. Um, card number 14, card number 3. 143. I love you. Somebody loves you. Could be something hidden that you're not aware of. But somebody in the environment loves you very, very much, Cancer. Interesting. Could be seeing 133 a lot. One, three, three, three. I've got the death, three of pentacles, the empress. Thirteen, thirteen. Fourteen, fourteen. Yeah. 
So in the extended we're going to look at who loves you because that was a strange message I got there. Um, so somebody in your environment loves you, cancer. So we're going to look into them from their point of view, see where they're at and uh, yeah, see what we can get. So cancer, all I would say is keep grounded, keep, um, keep it anchored, make sure you get some sort of totem. And um, that was an important message for somebody. But don't let anybody hold you back. You've gone through your rebirth. Um, becoming more kinder to yourself. No judgments on yourself, you know, because we've got judgment at the bottom of the deck. Um, it's like, it's time to pick the fruit soon. I almost feel like there's abundance coming in. You know, this is you in the immediate future, opening, opening yourself up to abundance. Balancing the masculine and the feminine. Because you've taken action. You've taken um, action on your dreams, um, and now we need to put those ideas into um, some sort of practicality. So, you could be dealing with or having your chart. We have Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Aries. So we've got cups, we've got pentacles, we've got wands, and we've got swords. Everybody's here, but those are the standouts. So if you can join me next any fantastic. If not, um, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next time. And did I explain why I love you? 1, I, 4, L-O-V-E, 3, Y-O-U. Stood out. Okay, enough of that. See you next time. Let me know. Bye.